Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to creating the diorama base for the 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome that we're um, almost completed with building. I am much happier with these results than the last one. That seemed to have worked out very well. I'll probably pull the tape off sooner. As you can see, it started... Well, maybe I'll leave it alone since we're going to be over this. I've already taped off the road. As you can see, that turned out just as well as this for what you can see of it. Um, but this video, we're going to be... I started taping before I hit record, and I was like, well, why don't you do it while you're actually doing the video so that people can see your process here. But what we're going to do is do the brownish from here to here, the tan, and then we're going to do this full pad, and then that way we'll just have this one left to do. So let's go ahead and grab the tape. And I was kind of surprised that that actually pulled the tape up. I wasn't really expecting that out of this less tacky tape. Obviously it's more tacky than I thought. that right on the expansion and I did take the knife and score this again to get the uh, uh, line back and I took the the toothpick and kind of opened it a little it's kind of hard to see because it's right on the edge of the deal but I did go ahead and do that now we need one on this part well, my tape caught. There we go. We'll flip it around here because I kind of. Oh no, that is the edge that I want. Almost taped off the wrong part. We'll get that there. Now look at it from the straight on view so we can get that tape down right. That's better. Just run my fingernail down there. Make sure it's in the right spot. And we need to take it one more time. That. I'm going to try not to smash it down too much onto the There, because I don't want when I as much as I stick, and I don't want it to rip off our ballast there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush ready. I accidentally left it over here yesterday after the video, and it dried up, and I was like, "Oh no!" And then I soaked it in a one of these little little cups here of water for about a half hour and it's his brand is new all right four minutes in all we did was tape let's get to get to going here Necessary. And I'm doing this section all at once. I figured once I'm done gluing, I'm gonna run the 
toothpick across that and hopefully we'll keep that line hopefully so now I need the brush and we'll just start getting our glue down where we need it and I can already see I don't have enough Not near enough. Well, let's spread the rest of this out. Looks like we're gonna get a little bit of the dark gray in our glue base, but that should be fine as long as the the tan goes over the top of it. We'll just give it another layer here, just like we did. This is the most important part, making sure you have the right amount of glue, because that's where I failed last time. I watered it down, and uh, that was a big mistake. That stuff dried before I even got all the way, glued all the way to the edges. Yeah, I think that part's okay. The small part, I think, is going to need a little more. It's just not looking even from where I'm seeing. There we go. Just a little bit. Kind of a one-shot deal. If you don't get the glue right before you sprinkle, it's not going to work. Okay, I'll let that level off a little bit. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to take the toothpick here and go along our expansion joint. Get some of that glue out of there. Because I don't really want it to disappear. from it a little bit. That's one thing I like about this bright light. It, I can see where the glue's at and where it's thin. Like so. There. One more pass. Oh, I missed a spot. Now nah, we'll give it one more pass. Open that expansion joint back up. Give it one more look over, and I think we'll start sprinkling some of the tan on. And again, this, what I have in the cup, is from yesterday's uh, <laughs> sprinkling, I guess. Put 
putting on nice and heavy, covering everything. This is basically all I did. Just took the tape off. I ain't gonna worry about it. We'll recollect it. Basically what I did after it was dry this morning, I pulled the tape off and uh, turned it over on its side and just let it fall on the paper. And then I curled the paper up and put it in the cup. So that's that part. Make sure these are down. Oh, we got a bubble there, honey. That is definitely not gonna do. There. I don't think that's gonna be as crucial, but. Now I need to get the glue over here. Pizza. We're gonna go There's no method to my madness here. It's just I want to get a nice layer even layer of glue is what I'm trying to do and I have to this direction. This direction would be better. Light skits right up to the next pad. And I was excited to see that my foam didn't. I was expecting. I'm glad we. Uh, glued it down first before doing this ballasting because I think it would have curled up from the glue. Not really putting a lot of pressure on there either. Just trying to flatten it into an even layer. Again, I'm not going to worry too much about covering that expansion joint yet. We'll take the toothpick and open that back up. So let's let that sit and settle for a little bit. Might have gotten enough glue there. It looks pretty, pretty shiny on that light. Just let it settle for a little bit. And then by tomorrow, I'm thinking I'll glue the foam part where the... I don't know that I showed that. Maybe I did. I got some rock ballast to simulate the rock driveway. That goes off this way. And then I'm going to practice on the uh, P40's diorama, the static grass. I'm going to try to just do over the foam, like glue over the foam, and see if that works just as a test. I think we are okay here. So let's go ahead and probably gonna have to get more from the bag, but looks like we're pretty even. I 
It is time to put the ballast on once again. And we'll have to get the bag out. Make sure I got the right one, that would be bad. Oh, it comes out of the bag faster. Kind of like sprinkling in that cup. And again, I don't, I'm not gonna worry about this way too. Not gonna worry too much about uh, making a mess because we're gonna we're gonna collect it all. Like so, but we'll let that, uh, I have to sprinkle a little more on the edges. We'll let that dry up. Very good. And then we'll uh, finish this pad and start on the rock part next. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.